Let me give you all of the stick locations in Piggy64. There's one here, right next to f this building, near the windmill. And then you want to collect all of the coins, right? Hello again, though. Hello. Hello, little other players. How is it going? Whoa. Well, I want to speak with you. Stop walking away from me. Okay, I want to speak to you. Let me, let me speak to you. Hello. I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You didn't, you're so antisocial. Now, on to the next stick. If you're asking where the other stick is, we're about to find it. We're about to find it, baby. Okay, the next stick is when you jump down here in the game, which is basically N64 themed. You get another stick. I'm pretty sure you double jump. It's pretty hard to get because you have to do it a few times. But there is also a stick underneath this cave right here. Underneath the cave opposite the windmilled house with the house with the smoke. So just collect this right here. Now you got two sticks, and now you want to go back up there to get the third stick. Now, the third stick is right ar above the river, so literally just go above the river, literally. Just, like, jump up and get it. So there you are. You've got it above the li this specific middle lily pad on the river. So you've got the third stick. And you've probably seen... The next stick is above the windmill. They're pretty obvious, to be honest. Uh, I'm guessing there's multiple maps, but I'm not completely sure since this game is still in beta. So, first, what we want to do is climb up the windmill. So, um, I'm pretty sure you can climb up walls. It's like, uh, it's got that nice buggy feel because, mainly because back in the day it's got that NES feel so I've got that stick up 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 on the windmill don't get hit by the windmill by the way that that's bad it's not very good in terms of health and safety and I want to keep you people safe because I'm family friendly forever friends okay let me get this next stick I don't know how you get it but I'm pretty sure you glitch and you can fly in this game so you want to do a bit of a runner I mean, I don't know how you sprint, but like in the trailer, apparent. Uh, I don't think you could sprint in NES games, but we're gonna try and get the stick anyway. So we want to go up here. Okay, we'll just wait. Give me a minute. Three, two, one. Wait. If you double, I'm trying to find out the controls though. Okay, what if I roll, jump? Ugh, yeah, you have to kind of roll and then double jump to get the fifth stick. Now the next stick is literally right in front of you, enough a river. Why are these so obvious? I will never know. I mean, NES games were kind of easy, unless you're kind of weird, I guess. Next stick, drum stick. Okay, we've got the sixth stick. Now we just got to get the rest of the tokens. And more sticks. By the way, this is shop, etc. And there's portals to go to different dimensions. But our first quest is the sticks. So we're going to go to this house now. This lovely house. This lovely abode. I want to see if anyone's in. I want to see if I can say hello to the people inside here. Oh, hello. I'm Terry the Teller. And then basically there's another chopstick right inside this house, as I expected. Because... I mean, why isn't this house burnt to the ground? Because literally too many sticks would burn these homes to the ground. Like, seriously, these people really got to think about health and safety before they do anything else. Like, man, seriously, people could have got hurt, especially if that was an orphanage. Okay. Now, the last stick we need to find is... Uh, I have no idea. But that's good, because we're about to find it, and I have no idea why it is, but if we look where everyone else is, it's, well, that's a piece of chicken up there, but I guess if you want to collect that too, that's completely normal, because it's a nice piece of chicken. I mean, I, 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 did, I did think they make the eight for easy, the eight for easy to get, but a drumstick? Oh, it's any type of stick. So, once you've got 8 out of 8 sticks, I'm not totally sure what you do. Mm. 
But there are portals. Warehouse you need. So basically you can go to different locations by getting different things. So like, I don't know where the sticks will take you, but you can get to the next place by trading all those sticks and basically you can just move on and move on. It's really simple and like nice.